Today on the channel, we're flying solo from the solo movie Enfys Nest Swoop Bike. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Star Wars unboxing daily at this point in 2021 and possibly beyond. But today on the channel, we've got something from the Solo movie, the Infis Nest Swoop Bike. But remember, for all your Star Wars needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. And you guys know I love a good speeder bike. I even love the swoop bike from the Shadows of the Empire. I still need to pick that one up. I had it as a kid. Need to get it back. And then today we got the Enfys Nest. Enfys Nest? Enfys Nest? I can't remember how it's pronounced. But a swoop bike that stole our heart in the Solo movie. I don't know. Did anything really steal our heart in the Solo movie? It was pretty lame. It was probably my least favorite Star Wars related movie for the most part. It uh, just didn't hit me where I wanted to be hit in one of these movies, I guess we'll call it. But you guys know I love a speeder bike, so I'm going to guess I'm going to enjoy this vehicle as well. There is a nice black series version of this that I never picked up. Back then, you know, I was only original trilogy. I was playing the long game. I was only getting the stuff that was the core Star Wars. Well, now, I'm not opposed to getting an Enfys Nest in the Black Series now. Just got to get a deal out there. Like everything else, got to get a deal. So, we'll see. Maybe one of these days we'll do a 6-inch Black Series unboxing on the channel. But for this one, we're going to do it like we normally do it. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. And we'll see where it goes from there. So, let's look at the packaging first. Force Link style packaging. A lot going on in these packages. Uh, my memories of these packaging was passing them by at my local Targets and Walmarts, not even giving them a second thought. I remember seeing some of this stuff. I can't specifically say this one, but I remember a lot of this stuff did go to clearance at the local Targets and Walmarts. Uh, so I don't think they really set the world on fire by any uh, stretch of the imagination at all. But a lot going on in the packaging, a lot of artwork there. You got the Swoop Bike, Enfys Nest, I guess. This is Enfy, Enf Enfys, Enfys? can't remember Enfy's nest right there big swerve in the movie i don't know everybody thought this was some kind of crazy guy or an alien or something it was just some chick behind the mask it was a quite the shock to me um put her with old weasel we opened up weasel on the channel a while back i uh, gotta have weasel you know old wicket warwick davis so we put these two together part of that Enfy's nest crew i guess we'll call it there so a lot going on in the front there. You got a little uh, glamour shot up there of the old Solo movie at the very top. Star Wars over there in the other top corner. Force Link. Don't have a Force Link. Not going to do any of that kind of stuff. But it explains a little Force Link right there, of course. On the top, the action spills over to the top of the package. The bottom spills over to all the warnings. And nothing really fun there. And then the back is where the magic happens. That's where you find out what you're really getting. Okay, what does this toy look like? Well, you flip to the back of the package and you see what's going on, what's doing right there. So there's a lot going on back there. Um, we'll see. Like I said, I've never been around here. Enfys Nest Swoop Bike. The Cloud Rider Gang, led by Enfys Nest, terrorizes the skies atop their mean-looking swoop bikes. Little more than engines with seats. Swoops are hard to control, but capable of incredible speed. So nothing really changes. I guess these were kind of the swoop bikes before the Return of the Jedi. That's where we got to love the swoop bikes, as you guys all are aware. Whoa, we got stuff flying out of here. See you later, packaging. What do we got? We got big instructions. Instructions. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, it's Force Link stuff. So I don't have the Force Link, so I don't really, don't really need those. They're kind of a waste of time for me. But here's Enfy's Nest in the Plastic Prison. A very cool looking figure. I wonder if the mask will be removable. I'm going to guess no at this point. See you later. Because as we know, most action figures are made way before. Uh, they have all the details of the movie. We see with Marvel Legends all the time, Star Wars included, that, hey, these figures, here's what we need made for the toy line. And the toy line comes out to support the movie, as you guys know. Well, a year out, six months, eight months out from the movie being released, they're not going to spoil anything. So like I said, yep, this mask does not come off. I'm guessing the Black Series version is the identical same way. Maybe one day, you know, the 10th anniversary of the Solo movie, maybe they'll give us a, a remake of this figure in the Black Series or whatever, and you'll have a removable helmet and all that kind of stuff. I could see that possibly happen. But at the same time, is there enough love for the Solo movie that people are really clamoring out there saying, you know, we need a, 
We need a remake of that Emphy's Nest figure. We really want one with a mask removable. Probably not at this point, but you never know. Things may change one day. If I get this weapon in her hand. Yeah, I remember thinking it was a dude in here. I guess we all assumed it was a dude. Maybe it's our prejudices or whatever. I didn't assume this to be a girl until she took her mask off. So that was exciting, exciting time. And we got some articulation. We got a little uh, wrist articulation that moves. We got the legs up and down. No waist, and we got head. So very Power of the Force-esque figure right here. Nothing to, enough to write home about, but nothing to complain about either, if you ask me. If I can get this weapon on, geez, it does not want to fit in her hand. Is what it is. But yeah, it's an alright solid figure. We got Soft Goods cape on it. Uh, soft Goods, at this price point, is always uh, surprising to me. So I, I do take that as a plus. Hey, I'm glad we got Soft Goods. I always like Soft Goods on these figures. And then you got uh, plastic goods at the front skirt, and then the back cape is soft goods. And then you got kind of a hairy plastic made uh, to look like hair. It's not soft goods or anything like that. You got the antennas out of the back of the helmet. A lot going on here. It's a strong, strong enough figure for what it is. We'll, we'll put it that way. Now, can I get this swoop bike out? It's just laying inside the box. No twist ties, no nothing. Just laying inside there, just chilling. See you later. Get out of here. All right, swoop bike, what do you got for me? What can you do? It doesn't look like it does anything. Nothing fires, nothing shoots. Am I correct in this? Yeah, it's just a, it's just here. It's just a thing. It's just there. Does it at least, well, at least stands up. I was going to say, is it going to be top heavy? Is it going to fall over on me? guess I don't need these instructions. See you later. Get out of here. So not a lot to this. I mean, I figured there'd be some kind of a gimmick with a, you know, a button that shoots a, a blast out or something like that, but there's none of that kind of stuff. So that's, uh, a little surprising, really. So this is a child's toy price point. Uh, maybe there's new laws in place I haven't seen lately that, uh, you know, you can't have shooting stuff. It'll shoot and poke your eye out. Maybe that's what's going on there. I was wondering why I had the big wide stance on this Enfy's Nest figure. I was like, that's a pretty wide stance. Well, duh. It's so uh, she could fit in her swoop bike here. So that makes all the sense in the world as well. And the hands can move to be able to control the bike. And you probably don't want the weapon on here, but... It's all right. You know, this is something you get a string and you kind of hang it from your shelf or from the ceiling or something like that, just kind of floating in there. Not sure where I'm going to set this one. I'm going to have to smoke and mirrors it somewhere, maybe with the Force Awakens stuff. I, I don't really know where to put this. I guess it would be before that, so that really wouldn't work. Uh, and it doesn't really work for the original trilogy for me either. It's kind of its own little world, the Solo movie. But the Solo movie, I don't know about you guys, it doesn't deserve its own retail spot in my collection as far as display-wise. I'm not going to take a full shelf and build out the Solo movie. It wasn't that good a movie. I'm not going not gonna to plan on that. But stuff like this i got to find a home for somewhere. Uh, so I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to put this. But not a lot to this. I mean, just a few different colors out there. It's the brownish color, the red, and a little bit of the gray. Just not a lot going on here. I mean, it just is what it is. It's a cheap toy. I like these kind of things. These are a grandma vehicle. We talk about grandma vehicles all the time. Grandma's not going to buy you the Millennium Falcon, but she's not just going to buy you a carded figure. She's going to go somewhere in between. She's going to get you one of these grandma vehicles. Is this the best grandma vehicle in the Star Wars canon? Nowhere near. Nowhere close is this the best. Uh, but it's something cool if you got, you know, no choices out there. This is the perfect kind of thing. Is I'm with my grandma, and we're at Kmart out in the middle of nowhere. I have everything in the Star Wars toy section. I say, well, I guess I'll get this now because it's probably not high on my list, but it's here. And you know when you're a kid, you got to get something. You got to get something. Grandma, I got to get something. Even though you could say, hey, I'll get something in the next store. Oh, no, you got to get something there. And, you know, oh, this is the only thing I don't have, so I'm picking this up. That's how this one would go in my mind as a kid. It is what it is. Not, not a lot to write home about. It's not terrible. It's not the best thing in the world. It's just somewhere in the middle. But what are your thoughts on this? Did you pick this up? Do you know anything about this? Is it a hard pass for you, an easy pickup for you? Let me know. you have any familiarity with the grandma vehicles? Were your grandmas the same way that they weren't going to buy you the cheap stuff? They weren't going to the expensive stuff. They will get you something in between. That's how my grandmas were, and it was great. It was a great time. Uh, but let me know your thoughts on the grandma vehicles. Let me know your thoughts on this swoop bike as well. So there it is, the Emphis Nest swoop bike. And Make sure you're following me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram. Of course, follow along on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give the old thumbs up, all that kind of fun stuff. And uh, yeah, so there it is. For the Swoop Bike, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.